Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Drew Sinatra, and I'm with my wife today, Dr. Brianna Sinatra. Hello. And we wanted to share with you some simple home cleaning recipes that you can make, some all-purpose cleaners that are chemical-free, simple to use, simple to make, and also uh, cost-effective. And we've done a quick search, and we are, you know, not surprised to find that many of these name brand products out there that you buy in the store, they're heavily laden with chemicals that may be affecting your health. This is important, especially to us, having young kids in the home, even something like spraying down the windows. You know, a child might lick that window. It happens. And so we need to think, you know, what is it that they're going to touch and what are we going to be spraying on it? And we want to make sure that that is something that we feel good about. All right, our first uh, all-purpose cleaner that we're going to make here is a vinegar-free formula. Uh, it contains uh, one teaspoon of cast soap, soap, contains two teaspoons of baking soda, and one and a half cups of water. So we're going to start by adding the baking soda. We're going to add one cup of that water in there. It's also a meditation when you're doing a home process like this. Making I some feel like products. a scientist. <laughs> All right, we're going to put that cap back on and give it a good shake to mix that water and baking soda. So here we're going to add in that cast aisle soap. And this time you're not going to want to shake it vigorously because if you do, a lot of bubbles will form and then that's not great for the spray bottle. So we're just going to want to swirl gently. We can take off that lid again and add the rest of the water. So there you have it folks. There's a simple at home all-purpose cleaner that you can make without vinegar. Now it's time to make our second all-purpose cleaner here. This one contains vinegar in it and uh, the reason we included one that has vinegar versus one that doesn't have vinegar is some people don't really like that vinegar smell. Uh, the ingredients in this one are one half cup white vinegar, uh, two tablespoons of baking soda, and 10 to 15 drops of an essential oil. That can be a lavender, that can be a tea tree, it can be a lemon, or lime, that can be thyme, rosemary. Um, it's essentially limitless in terms of how many essential oils or different ones that you can use. So have fun with experimentation with it. And then of course there's some water that we're gonna add to it as well. All right, so we're gonna start off by adding the vinegar first. And we want to add the essential oil to the vinegar because this helps to emulsify <clears throat> the essential oil into the solution. Add a little bit of water. As we've found from experience, you actually want to add more than a little bit of water. And I do recommend you do this with your kids because it's a fun activity to do with your kids. Kids love this kind of stuff. If you want to make it a little more exciting, don't add as much water and you'll get a pretty awesome volcano effect. Uh, if you want to tone that down a little bit, add a little bit more water before you add the baking soda. Our baking soda. Add the rest of your water to get the rest of that baking soda in there. Ooh, see? There it Even is. with just a little bit it's of a water grade, left. Uh, science experiment. Yeah. <clears throat> add on the cap. Give it a swirl. Some pressure builds up, so make sure you have it off. Or you know what, even just let it vent for a little bit. All right, thanks everyone for joining us. Bye.